Recreational scalloping in Florida starts generally at the beginning of July and ends in mid-September, although those dates can change annually. So um, anyone interested should go to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission website and see what the current dates are for each year. Um, recreational scalloping is also allowed um, only in a lo certain location in Florida and that is between the Hernando Pasco County line north to Mexico Beach. And then when you are getting ready to land your, your base scallop catch or take them to shore, it is important to note that you do have to land them in a county that where recreational harvesting is permissible. You can't take them to say another county where you can't legally collect base scallops. If you're going to go scalloping, um, there, are, there are a few things that you need to have. First, you need to have a valid Florida fishing license, and you can get that from the Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. You're also going to want a mask, a snorkel, some fins. You will need a dive flag, and that needs to be displayed from the highest point on your vessel. And if you're snorkeling from shore, you need to have one that's on a float that's attached to you. You'll also want to have a bag, and that bag you'll take with you out in the water and you can put your scallops in there as you collect them. Depending on the length of the seagrasses that you're snorkeling in, and bay scallops do uh, live in the seagrasses, so you want to be in the seagrasses when you're looking for bay scallops. So they are going to open their, their shell periodically to filter water, and you can, you can see that in the water column. You can also see the double ring of blue eyes, which is very beautiful in the, in the water. Bay scallops are only allowed for recreational harvest in those certain areas of the state because those are the only areas where we do have healthy, sustainable bay scallop populations. Currently, there's a lot of efforts underway to restore bay scallop populations in other areas of the state, and we are starting to see some, some rebound. They, they are an indicator species of good water quality. They are very sensitive to pollutants. So if you have bay scallops in waters that are suitable, meaning they're, they're salty enough mm -hmm. and you have good seagrasses, that, that really is a good indication of a healthy estuary. So it is, it's a nice way for people to be on the water and there's, there's a lot of econom good economic return for those local communities that um, do support healthy bay scallop mm -hmm. populations. For more information about recreational base gallop harvesting, you can go to Solutions for Your Life or flcgrant.org.